How's it going, PD team? This video is part of a larger tutorial series covering project management. It's such a critical part of being a designer, whether you like it or not. Also, not nearly discussed as much as it deserves in the community. It separates the pros from the noobs. It can be the make or break in a project deadline. Having a consistent folder structure is critical to meet project timelines, not losing your assets, or broken scenes. And important for archiving too, especially if you need to revisit the project the following season. Remove the unnecessary stress by implementing a solid pipeline, and that's what I hope to achieve in this important series. This video is for all motion designers, animators, 3D artists, art directors, designers, so we can all improve on project management. I hope by making these statements you understand the importance, heed the information, so you don't shaft yourself in your next big project. In this video, I'll discuss render tokens and a little hidden secret that will automatically organize your image sequences in the correct relative subfolders. Make sure you check the video description for associated project files. Also, the community tab has plenty of free resources like substance materials, espresso rigs, and After Effects presets. I'll be building up plenty of content for the community to enjoy. I'll be doing a free mega bundle giveaway for the first 500 Rockstar subscribers to my channel. So make sure you smash the subscribe button to stay up to date and like the video to show your support. It's greatly appreciated. Let's dive in. Okay, so here's a basic project folder structure. I've got an After Effects file and a Cinema 4D file. This project right here is located in the Cinema 4D folder. And what happens is Cinema 4D is going to render from here and go up a level, then go down a level, and then save in relative to this After Effects file inside a folder called 3D Renders. And then you, here's the render tokens that created these subfolders. Folders, and then here's the image sequence. So all of these folders are automatically created from Cinema. So it, it will, if I do not create an AE folder, it will create that for me. And then it will render out a 3D folder, 3D renders folder, and then create these render tokens. So you can see the first render token is beauty. So I'll have three levels. I'll have an intermediate and then a hardware render, and it'll create a folder for each of those. So in the process, I like seeing those organized first. Then if we go inside, you can can see this could be the scene name but this file name this comes from the file name so whatever the render token is looking at it's looking for the project folder name and putting that folder in there then it goes into the camera so within each render scene we could have multiple cameras this one happens to be called 169 and then inside is the file name and the file name is separated with the project file and then the camera so that when they're layered out inside of after effects you'll be able to quickly identify which camera is which. So when you create a project folder, all you need to do with this system is create a folder called my project and then throw inside of it a Cinema 4D file and then everything next to it in this AE folder gets automatically generated when you render. So let's see how this works. So I'll go here and click my render settings and I've got a blank link here. So what I see a lot of people doing is clicking this folder structure button where you can then search and that's not the best way to do it. It's fine for for quick things, but ideally you should have a link in here that's universal, that can be used on every project. So what we wanna do is we're gonna do this hidden secret first, and that is two dots. What that means is when we're in this folder here in Cinema 4D, go up a level. That's what those two dots mean. So if I go up a level, it takes me to this root. So these two dots do a root and then we'll do a forward slash, which is the folder slash. And then we're going to do underscore AE like so. So what that does is that takes us into this AE folder and then we want to generate a folder called 3D renders. So I'll do a forward slash 3D renders. Okay, so there we are. And then what we can do is we can do another forward slash and now I want to separate my renders into render qualities so right now it will generate a folder based off the word beauty because that's what my render setting preset is and if I go here and click render settings I made one already for hardware renders and you can see it's called hardware previews if I was to render this out you can see that it has the dollar sign RS which means it's going to pick the render setting name so we'll separate it so dollar sign which is the render token RS and these are going to be all lowercase. Do not put uppercase because they won't work. It's case specific. So render settings. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to do a folder based off of the date so that we, if I render tomorrow, it will create a new folder with the date and I'm not overriding files. So I'll do dollar sign date forward slash and let's do the project name. So dollar sign PRJ for project. If you forget what these symbols are, these, these uh, render tokens are, you can click here, proj PRJ, and then let's do another one 
one for separated out with camera. So dollar sign camera. And then we want to make our file name with the project in the camera. So forward slash and then dollar sign PRJ dash dollar sign camera. And now if you put a folder slash, it will make another folder. We do not want to do that. So what this will do by leaving it open is the last one that's open will be the file name extension. Okay. And you can see I've selected EXR. I'll do another video on saving out, but this is the juice of this. I'll make it big on my screen. This is what I use for all my projects. Now I modify it depending on how big the project's going to be. Like I might have different renders for social media where there's square ratio. So if I wanted to do that, I could put a folder in here with the forward slash and do one called resolution and that is res and that will render out a folder with the different resolutions there's also ones that you can do like username if you're going to be working with other people in the project or maybe different computers you can separate like if you have three computers you're rendering on at home you can put the computer name so they're all separate okay so there's a lot go through these and check out these uh render tokens they're very useful so very rarely do i ever click this folder icon and select a folder i use these two different dots in the forward slash and then do my project structure. So this is a quick one. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget, I'll be uploading more video content on staying organized. Thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content. Thanks for your support.